What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel today. It's my dog over there sleeping. Today we have a new part day. Got some parts uh, coming in. A 40 Temple Mess uh, Honda Civic. I'm really, really, really excited for these parts. I guess this would be phase four or possibly five of modifications that we're doing to the uh, Civic. A lot, of, a lot of stuff to come, but I gotta ask you guys. It's like all the other YouTubers. Like, are you banging? Are you guys banging? Um, I saw a uh, vlog where somebody started drinking this. It was a Mopar vlog. So I decided to try it. See, this bang stuff was actually good because it's like zero like on freaking everything. It was better than energy drink. And with the long days I have, I want to check it out. I tried every flavor except for this one. So I'm going to try this one see if this one's any good. The one that uh, the YouTubers are raving about is the Unicorn. Kind of hard to find in Texas, but I actually got my hands on the Unicorn. Tastes like bubblicious bubblegum, pretty much, if you guys want to know. But yeah, check check that stuff out. Anywho, so on to the, the new parts. You guys will probably be able to see by the boxes what these parts are exactly. I'm excited. Yes, yes, it's not complete, obviously, with everything I do. Do have two more, actually three more parts uh, coming in. One part is on back order, so I'm not going to get that part until I move into my new place. So that part's not going to come until June, geez. Uh, the other two parts, I'm going to actually probably order this uh, this Friday. That way we'll have the whole entire setup. We'll just be waiting on one part. But I can install all the other parts minus, that, minus the part that's left because that one's a, a simple, possibly 10-minute install that they can do um, at the shop. You know, within 10 minutes, it doesn't require these other parts. So let's check it out. Let's see what I got. All right. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, you guys can obviously tell by the boxes what they are, except for possibly that one. We got a part from Ebots right here. Uh huh. We got a part from Raceland. The picture pretty much gives it away right there. Uh, we got an awesome part from Megan Racing as well as this bag. This bag, this in here is a much needed part. This is actually from NRG, one of the newest lines. Let's start here first. And what is this? Oh, this is a turbo blanket. That's it. A turbo bike for NRG, as you can see, it's from NRG. This is for the T25, T28 turbo. Look at that quality. Had to get a turbo blanket before the Honda went on the dyno because I'm trying to do everything I can to keep the motor cool to make as most power this time around, more power this time around, I should say, than I did last time. But like I said, last time I had the heating issues, boost leaks. This time around, all that stuff's been fixed. I add the mask to help cooling. I'm going to add this to help cooling. Uh, for anybody wondering or asking, yes, you should run a, go ahead and run a table blanket. Is it required? No. But if you're trying to make the most power you can out your setup, I would say get to your table blanket. Right, this is NRG's uh, new line, new line of products. They just got into the table blanket game. This is only 80 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Most table blankets go for around 165, 170 ish. It's the same quality, it's got the lava interior. It's like the PTE blankets, really awesome. Take this part, take this part here in a second. And we have Raceland, self explanatory. These are the coilovers, much needed coilovers. I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and get a set of coilovers. I could have gotten any set of coilovers I wanted, guys, honestly. I mean, I could just got anything I wanted from, from you know, $600 tins to, you know, $1,500 D2s, or, you know, or they have K Sports, a Buddy Club, etc. Again, I don't believe in overpaying for a product, uh, a product when you have other products on the market that do the same exact thing. It's just a name. It's like, oh, I'm gonna buy a BMW, but it's a base model, versus you could buy like, I don't know, like a mid-tier Camaro or something. It, it's just really no point. I mean, if you wanna put on, you know, D2 coilovers, uh, KO coilovers, the Buddy Club, or even Megan's coilovers are pretty expensive, whatever. But Wayson is a new company, Obviously, they're based in the USA. These coilovers are priced just right. And also, if you do your research, you can actually slam your car on these coilovers farther down than any other one on the market. Most of them go from one inch to roughly around 2.25. These go all the way down to a four inch drop. To tell you that these go to a four inch drop, you know that this isn't the basic series. Of course, you know, I had to go ahead and get, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. Awesome Wasteland sticker right here. We're gonna get the ultimate series coilovers. That's how we do it around here, boys. 
So I can't wait for these to go on. I'm gonna go ahead and do a much needed drop to the Cowboy Master R18 Civic. This is the Ultimate Series Coilovers. Um, they're priced awesome. Um, you can look it up online. $3.99 shipped to my door. Just awesome. So excited about those. So we'll get those on. So that's going to help with the suspension and the handling. Obviously, that helps with the cooling. So if that's suspension and handling, you guys already know what, what, what this company does. So what's in this Megan Racing box? So let's open it up. Let's find out. Oh, it's focused. You kill a tree, a big old box like that, just to hold these two pieces. Anybody that knows anything about suspension probably knows what these two pieces are. This is going to be your front and your rear tie bars. So tie rods come with whatever you want. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to aid in suspension and aid in handling. Let's open it up. You can see it basically are the same. There's one bigger than the other. Obviously, one for the front, one for the back. There you go. And I got red. Of course. Megan Racing. Hi boy. Oh, this is so awesome. Man. Obviously not gonna open this. I'll keep it right in the plastic right now. Until I take it to the shop. And this is gonna be the, the bigger one of the two. I don't think I've opened this one yet. Let me open it right quick. And there you go. As you can see brand new parts. Everything's new here guys. Megan Racing, so you know it's authentic. There you go. You got the front. And you got the rear bars. So awesome. Gonna aid and help with the handling when we're driving. So, last box. Let's open up this e-box box. Most of you guys probably figured out what this was. If we already had this, what could this be? We got the, the bars for stability and handling. Hmm, wonder what's in here. Let's find out. I got the part position right. Got it cut open. Let's open this up to see what I end up getting. The Tell me the R18. And you guys can already see right there. If you know the company, you already know what it is. I haven't opened this. Obviously, it's all brand new. Hell yeah! Been waiting on these ones. Wow. These are going to be your front and your rear sway bars. But they will be adjustable. As you can see, the brand new. They are red. Tie bars are red. So, everything matches up. So all this is the aid in this one in the suspension and two in the handling of the Turbo Master R18. So again, if I decide to take this thing to, I don't know, like a road course or I want to do some other courses to have fun, I want to make sure that that the Honda is at its optimal level. That me, me I'm not riding and driving. I'm like, man, but I just had a little bit more. You know, the, the oversteer is just this bad. If I just had a little bit more you know, suspension mods, it'd be okay. I want to have fun. Again, like I told you guys, we're building this car to be a multi-purpose car. Pretty much do anything go on the track, have fun with, daily drive it around town. Even if you wanted to, I suppose, we into drag racing. You could drag race it as well uh, with the increase in power it's about to have. But uh, here you guys go. Very excited. I waited for these parts for a while. I actually got this. Get this. I got this in one day. One day should be actually overnight. It was overnighted to me. I didn't know that the company that was selling this was actually in Fort Worth. So it took them an afternoon to get it to me. I was like, what? <laughs> so that was awesome. Ordered it. Ordered it uh, yesterday. Yesterday night. Got it this morning. That's crazy. So there you guys go. My dog drinking some water. Uh, new part day. New hype. These suspension mods will be phase four or five ish for the uh, Tower Mass Civic. It's gonna be awesome when you get these parts on the car. The handling is gonna be out this world. That way, when I get back and I finally drive the car again, it's gonna be just everything about it is gonna be different. It's gonna be a different car. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. So, we still have some more stuff uh, coming in. Always, always, I'm between the guys. There's always new stuff coming in, new things, ideas I'm thinking of, things I'm having made, whatever. You know, we got to make these cars different. So when we do go to the car shows, people see a lot of cool things that they don't normally see on 8th Gen Civics, not the standard issue stuff. So there you guys go. New part day. New parts. We'll have a new part day uh, coming up again. Soon enough, it'll be time to, really soon, real soon, it'll be time to move into a new place. Uh, like I guess like most uh, YouTuber, YouTubers, I give you guys a, a video of where I reside or where we're staying at. 
Um, and uh, we'll move on. That's what you're supposed to do in life. You're supposed to move on, make more money, keep going up. Make sure you guys are always going up. If you're not going up in life, you're doing something wrong. Make sure you're always making more money, always upgrading the things around you. And if you have to, upgrade your friends. If your friends ain't about shit, you ain't going to be about shit. Make sure you guys upgrade. Keep it, keep it going up. So uh, today on the agenda, pretty much got to wash the 370Z. It's been raining all week here in Texas. I mean, just, just disgusting rain. I need to get that car washed for sure. Get out of the mud and dirt off of it. As well as I got to take him to go get him a bath as well. We got to give him a shower. Overdue for a shower. Isn't that white? So there you guys go. New part there. I'm thoroughly excited. Can't wait to drop these parts off at the shop. For phase four, go ahead and get that suspension up upgraded as well. So upcoming uh, upcoming stuff, we have some new stuff coming in for the uh, 370. We're going to continue on the 370 project as we've been doing. And hopefully, um, the last set of parts that dropped off will be done at the shop. So then we'll be able to pick up the, the Honda to get on the dyno. So I don't know if I'm going to wait till I get out the dyno stuff done, all that stuff. Then it goes to the paint shop, get those two parts repainted. Then throw all this on, or just go ahead and say, you know, fuck it. Take this stuff now. Go ahead and get this stuff thrown on there while it's still there. I got to see where they're at, because, they, again, they do have other cars they have to work on. Um, you know, other Subarus, and we all know how Subarus are. So, we got to work on those. So, we'll find out. But, again, man, excited, man. Just so excited to finally be in the Phase 5. Get all this performance done, man. This, like I tell everybody, the... Most expensive thing about modding cars is when you start doing the performance mods, like legit performance mods. It can get it can get kind of expensive because I mean you gotta get one part before you get the other, before you get the other type deal. But once you get it all together, it's you know your car is completely transformed. So soon enough we'll be done with performance. Oh, done done with performance for a while. Then we're gonna hop back on the exterior of the uh, Honda. And keep going with my plans. Um, that I had my plans that I laid out, I should say, for the exterior of the car. Um, interior is pretty much done. You guys saw the interior pieces. You've been watching my videos. Like, you know, you see the seats are still here. Like, the rear seats, the seat belts, like one seat belt over there, the steering wheel. You know, there's only one part you have not seen yet for the interior. So, when that's finally made, hint, hint, and done, you guys will see that. But, okay, guys. Um, Matter of fact, let me, let's show you the 370, show you how dirty it is from all this Texas rain. Let's go outside. Back outside, like I said, we're gonna go, we're gonna go wash the car. Uh, even though it's supposed to rain, again, we're just gonna go rinse it off, put a little bit of soap on it, then go shopping. That will be the end of the vlog over here. It's dirt and grimes, nasty. Gotta get this thing cleaned up. So we're gonna go wash it, go shopping. And I think that might just end this video. Let's see if anything else the day holds anything else. Oh, one more thing. I keep getting asked asked about spare parts, like all these OEM parts from taking off, seat belts, side spares, bumper. There's EO parts back here. There's a brand new RSX carbon fiber hood. Never seen sunlight. Got a lot of spare parts, guys. If you want, if you want something that I'm taking off the car, I don't mind selling. Uh, stock parts, door panels, etc. to any of the cars, including, like I said, the 350, the 370, the uh, Honda Civic SI or non SI, uh, Acura RSX 2002 through 2004. I got a lot of performance parts for that car. Uh, Evo 2003 through 2006, you can always ask. I don't mind uh, selling parts, just as long as you make me a reasonable offer, offer we can see you all what we can do but don't try to lowball me just because the part is probably most likely 99.9% .9 not going back on the car don't think that you're going to get example like a fun bumper for 10 bucks come on now oh let's do this cold start so how come all of us YouTubers always need gas always when we drive our cars we need gas fuck 40 miles or 41 just went up but we're at Sam's Club here to do a little bit of shopping. I got a gas station right there. I've never gotten uh, Sam's Club gas, but I guess we will today. All right, my favorite place here at the car wash. Yeah, I just went shopping. So I'm washing all this crap off. Let's get this dirty car thing up. 
favorite place watching the car. <laughs> Dry, and yeah, the paint in the top was holding up perfectly fine. So, that uh, top of paint from AutoZone is actually pretty freaking good, if you guys want to hold up perfectly fine. This, unless something else comes in, this is going to effectively uh, end this uh, video. So make sure you guys uh, click like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you know when I post a new video. Got more stuff coming in. Soon enough, all these parts are going to be on the Honda. It's going to be on the dyno real, real soon. Just waiting for uh, a couple more things to come in. And we'll decide if we're going to put them on now or we're going to go ahead and run it as we got. Get on the dyno. Then go back and get those parts put on and then get painted or what? We'll figure it out as we go along. But don't forget, guys, make sure you're banging. <laughs> There's the infamous unicorn I talked about. Like I said, this went shopping. They actually had a bunch of them, so this bottom. I want to try these two new flavors right here. Um, this is actually pretty good. I like the uh, cherry lemon lime so far. That one's awesome. So, and like I said, this one just basically tastes like bubblicious bubblegum. But all right, guys. Again, click like and subscribe. If you guys want to know anything, if you guys want to buy a part from me, etc., just post in the comments below. Let me know. As well as, I'll go ahead and I've been getting a lot of requests for a pretty much a list of all the mods that are on the Double Myth R18. I made a list for somebody. I'll go ahead and probably make it once we get it back. I'll put it in the video because by then I'll have some some of these parts on there. That way you guys can see what's on the car. But don't forget, make sure you guys are banging, better than monster, <laughs> energy drinks, etc. Um, see you guys next video. Woo! Peace. Oh, and I forgot one. Got this one right here. Bankster Bay. Actually, a pretty badass name. Subscribe, please. For update. Of course, like I said, one of the parts came in, so I'm going to attach it to the video. That new part. Right here, it's going to go along with, as you guys saw, the uh, suspension. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll see what's inside here. No, it's not missing all the parts. Oh, we did get one of those. You know, we have plenty of those parts on the car. Like, like the, uh, the uh, oil cooler and then the uh, catch can. Yeah, a couple of missing motor parts, actually. So, if you guys know anything about suspension, it's going to go right along with it. We're waiting for these for a while. Here we go, you guys should know the company, White Line. And these are adjustable end links. These are the end links uh, for the front and the rear. They go on to the uh, sway bars. And this is gonna aid in, obviously, uh, handling. Um, I was actually doing research on, um, when I was doing the suspension, I was just happy with getting the sway bars. But upon talking to ProCivic.com, they recommended end links they said the sway bars are only as strong as the end links actually so you need to up, go ahead and upgrade your end links white line does make end links for our cars as you can see right here they are adjustable and they also have a company that they sponsor a uh, sir moto that makes uh end links for the car now actually their end links are actually four dollars cheaper per set than the white lines but they're more aggressive so if you're gonna be doing nothing but track racing I'd recommend getting the Sir Moto. If you're going to be doing everything, kind of like daily driving, everything, I would say get the white line. You still get the benefits, but not as aggressive in mix. It's just funny that the bag that they come in kind of looks like a <laughs> like a bag you you would get to get uh, uh, detergent or something for a, <laughs> a washing machine or a dryer. Crazy, but yeah, this is it. These are white line in links. That's the number four guy. Let me focus a little bit. There you guys go. Front and the rear. It's gonna go along with all the suspension stuff over here. We're gonna get that all tossed in the car and the Honda's gonna handle pretty freaking good as soon as all this, uh, all this is installed. It's only actually one more part, uh, actually two more parts, I should say, two more parts. 
I told you earlier earlier in the video that one part's on back order. It's still on back order. I've looked around, see if anybody has this part in stock. And I found a couple people, but they pretty much <laughs> upped the price on it by almost 50 times. I'm not even joking. They're taking a part that's not even $200 and making it $1,000. I'm not going to overpay for a part. I'll just wait until uh, uh, it's back in stock. Hopefully middle of June, possibly July, I'll pick it up and then we'll add it, add it uh, to the Temple Mess uh, Honda R18. But alright guys, uh, as earlier, just want to show you this new part just came in. So again, might as well attach it to this video. So we got the bulk of the, I should say the bulk, the bulk of the suspension uh, products uh, that we can go ahead and get this car already uh, handling good. And by the time that part comes back in stock, uh, the Honda will be back. So. Uh, we'll just have to, um, once we get it in, we'll just have to drive to the shop and do a, a quick install. Again, it won't take them more than 10 minutes to get installed and torque it down. But alright guys, again, this is going to effectively end this video. If you guys have any comments, please comment below. Uh, click like and uh, subscribe. Tell your friends about this. We are uh, one of the only channels still modifying the 8th gen. The best gen, by the way. <laughs> but modifying the 8th gen Civic. Uh, we're, we're, we're pushing it to its limits. Plenty, plenty, plenty more to come. More to come on the 370. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, hey, leave them below. I like hearing from you guys, um, as well as things that you like to see or suggestions on parts or stuff like that uh, that you like to see added, added to the car. Or things probably I haven't, I haven't even thought of. So you guys are really good about that. Um, stay tuned, guys. We got a lot more cool content coming, upcoming car shows, etc. Again, subscribe, let your friends know. See you guys next video. Peace.